like seeing you, you're like popping more so like on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. You have like a bunch of like how did you get so many followers? Bruh. It's a story. It's a story. I like Basically, stories. Um so what I was doing like back when like Instagram was like I guess popping for black artists. I was using this app. I, I guess you would call it a bot or whatever, and what it was doing, it was liking my followers and my um, people who I follow. There, it was liking their followers posting stuff. Mm -hmm. So they, when they see that this random account follows, I mean, likes their stuff, they're like, who's this? So they click on my account and they see, oh, well, this art is interesting. So I follow. Yeah. So that's how most of my followers came around. And then when Instagram started, you know, banning all those bots, I was stuck for a good minute. Like, I didn't know how to do it. Then I came up with the idea of drawing, like, models and stuff like that. Because I know they, a lot of people like how my art style looked, specifically when I draw black women. Mm -hmm. so, I started, so I started drawing black women a lot, like, really popular black women, especially the ones that are into anime. They would share the stuff, and I would get followers that way. So that was one way. Then another way, I guess, is, you know, participating in certain artists, um, certain artist challenges on Instagram, like, you know, um, draw the serious style. Like I have certain, certain, some of my followers draw my character, like Miss Makeshift is a really popular character. So they draw her and then they'll share that on a profile and they be like, oh, well, I like this character. Let me see if there's more art of her. And they go to my page and they see more art. I get my followers that way. So there's a lot of ways they get followers. It's just, Instagram is just mad difficult these days. <laughs> and would you say it's worth it? These days, to start fresh with a new account, unless you have a, like, well, I'm gonna say it's never worth it. I won't never say that, but you know, yeah. it's always good to put your stuff out there. But I don't know to think you about to get like twenty thousand followers in a day or a month or something like that. Now those days are done. My thing is like, if people were to ask me, I would say that Facebook is the move right now. Facebook and YouTube. Well, I say Facebook depends on what you're trying to go for. Like with my Kickstarter stuff, Facebook is the move. That's where all the money. People on Instagram don't care about that shit. I just post it because I, I, you know, I want to let want to let people know that you know. Yeah, give but, yourself the chance. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, people on Instagram they don't care about that. Facebook is definitely the move. I still have yet to crack YouTube. But I still don't understand how that world goes. YouTube or Twitter? I don't get yeah, that place. I have a Twitter, Twitter and Instagram to me are just more so. That's something fun to do versus yeah, something yeah. I'm there like for my business and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just because um, I don't the monetize the. The, the opportunities for monetization are low on those pages. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, well, you can, you know, if you get big on Twitter, that's cool for clout, but what can you really do with it? It's like, if you get big on YouTube, you can make money. Mm -hmm. If you get big on Facebook, you can make money, you know? So th those are the pages I really try to concentrate on. I say the positive about getting clout and getting big on Twitter is that as soon as you get big on Twitter, I know it's a pattern. So you get big on Twitter, you get big on Instagram. It's like a, just right after that, it's like a double up right after that. So, I mean, I feel like that's probably the only thing, you know, like you said, is the cloud. But like I said, you get, as soon as you get popping on Twitter, immediately Instagram is right after. I mean, I've, I've seen how it does in every other business. It's it's quite the, what they call it, the catalyst. Yeah. Right, right. So, I mean, are you doing good on Twitter? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Benny man. The kid is a L7 weenie.